for you to remain. I am so sorry that we're not going to get to meet each other in London, but I have been so touched by every one of you and what you're doing in your part of the globe right now. I know that Olga Bakhlitz has asked each of us to send you a message of hope and inspiration for where you are on this planet. I know that many of us are having a difficult time right now, and I want to invite you to do the one thing in your lives that can make that difference. Now, I know that many of us have older relatives and friends and we're dealing with the realities of how do we get the respirators to people, how are we able to get food to people, but the thing that each of you can do is take it upon yourself to find where are you the most creative in your life. If you're a writer, take this opportunity to reflect on this world and write your heart out. If you're somebody who is normally working in business and you're thinking, oh my God, what am I going to do business? This is your opportunity to be creative about your business. How can you take an entrepreneurial look at today and say what is necessary and what is it that you naturally do and are an expert on and how can you apply that to these challenges? Because somewhere in this world, there is someone that needs to know what you know really, really well. Now, when we were all in Cyprus last year, none of us could have seen this coming down the pike. But because we now do, we're able to take a look at ourselves and say, what capacity do I have to change the future? There are a lot of challenges right now in this world, but together we're going to be able to have that impact. And each one of you has the capacity to look in yourselves and say, where do I hold a solution for that one thing? If you can find that one solution, whether you're a humanitarian or an entrepreneur and apply it, that one thing could be the thing that makes a difference in your part of the globe or on the other side of the world. We need to move from thinking about ourselves as silo situations as I just have a business here in my little town to thinking I'm a human being that is part of a human global family. And that's the hidden gift in what we're dealing with today. Each one of us has the capacity look around and go wow you know now I know many of you get tired people hear me say this all the time but this world is more interconnected than ever before globally environmentally and now health wise it's been highlighted and guess what there is enough opportunity there is enough resources for everybody in this world to thrive but we have to do it intelligently so for all of you at the creative women conference I'm gonna invite you to take this opportunity to really delve inside yourselves and say how could I creatively apply what I know and explore intellectually what capacities there are that are untapped and how can we revamp them, how can we reconnect them, how can we plan them and strategize because you are the leaders that are defining exactly what humanity is going to be for us. What do we want humanity to be? What kind of ancestors will we be? And people look back at this moment in time and we say, this was the moment that we all had a chance to change mankind's capacity to think and move forward. If we had had a different philosophy, maybe less people would have perished. Maybe less people would be fighting for their lives right now. This is our opportunity right now in this moment in time to think like that and say, how do we make the difference for the next time around? This is our opportunity right now to say we have it within ourselves to change the future of humanity. And if we can find some excitement in that, what we are able to do can lift an entire world up. So wherever you are, whether you're in Cyprus, whether you're in Africa, whether you're in Europe, whether you're in Asia, I'm in all sorts of you from all over this globe last time you we were in Cyprus. I'm going to invite you to do what Aphrodite would have done back, you know, we all remember that whole mythology where she came out of the ocean, out of the shell in Cyprus, that special place. Well, open your shells. What? incredible capacity you have hidden and that ocean of knowledge that you're bringing to the shores of humanity right now and what pearls of wisdom do you have to offer because it's by linking them together that we can make the change